The queer history is, the, I think, it is one of the most important thing when we are talking about the minority and the community. I cannot imagine, and this is the situation in Poland, that you have the community, the LGBT community, and you don't think about the queer history. You don't think about the uh, minority, the your minority, LGBT minority, in the past. Uh, that's why, uh, as I said before, in Poland we have got this kind of situation that everybody thinks that before 1990 the queer history it was some kind of myth. Uh, after 1990, because uh, the Western demons uh, came to Poland, uh, we have got gay people, then lesbian people and the others. Uh, but before it was like heaven for the sex heterosexual uh, people and of course it's legend and of course it's not true and of course it is a little bit irony uh, but still many people many important people in Poland also scholars professors at the university politicians they think that the situation is like in this legend that's why I think that the, the importance of the movement and the minority, LGBT minority in Poland, is to focus also uh, into the history, into the queer history. Because sometimes we think that the history is only something connected with documents, but we don't remember about the oral history, about the stories. And for example, during this time here, um, during the LGBT Salzburg Global uh, Seminar, we saw the situation that we can meet now. We can meet people, for, from exa for example, from Syria, from Ethiopia, uh, who can tell us the stories, and these stories in the future, it will be the part of queer history. That's why I think that the, this historical impact is also some kind of uh, education for us, not only for the minority, but also for the rest of the society. And this is also the weapon to show the other people that uh, the queerness, also the queer history, it's not the legend, it's not uh, uh, ironic myth uh, which you can use to show that somebody is different and that this is something weird and something uh, uh, not appropriate. This is the part of the human history and uh, we should remember about it. I feel touched now, for example, uh, really, really much because of the situation in Chechnya, for example. Yeah? I think this is the first time that I feel that my work, queer history, is so, so important. Because when I wake up in the morning and I get the information that in Chechnya uh, the situation is similar like uh, 50, 60, 70 years ago in uh, Germany because of the paragraph 175 and the situation after 1933. Uh, this is my first impression that this is the second time or the third time that the history uh, is now the reality. I, I think the, this is the situation which uh, tells me, okay, we should remember. And this remembrance, uh, I think this is the most important weapon um, to, to be safe and to think about the signals when we should, for example, go away, when we should uh, change the place of our living, change the country, uh, how we should also control politicians, our governments, uh, how should we fight for our uh, rights, uh, because it's not like this that, for example, uh, in the United States now the situation is perfect, uh, but tomorrow it could be something, it can be something different.